There was no mugshot. That's off process. No bail money. There's no bail money. They didn't make him uh, surrender his passport. I was very disappointed um, that it seemed that he had completed the entire booking process even before entering the courtroom. He got special treatment. But other than the mugshot, the media doesn't want to see Trump's face on TV. After yesterday's arraignment, Trump went to a Cuban restaurant where he comped everyone's lunch. But the media panicked. They don't want you to see that. That's the picture over your um, brilliant words. We don't need to see that anymore. We know where he is. The folks in the control room, I don't need to see any more of that. He, this, he's trying to turn this and he's trying to turn it into a spectacle, into a campaign ad. That's enough of that. We've seen it already. <laughs> now, the media only wants you to see courtroom sketches and mug shots, not Trump having lunch. See, that's normal. They expected to see Trump in tears after Joe Biden had him arrested. But he wasn't playing their game, so got to take that off the screen. Crowds liking Trump, people praying with Trump, Trump buying fans lunch. You're not supposed to see that. Then the former president flew to Bedminster and spoke about the day. This day will go down in infamy and Joe Biden will forever be remembered as not only the most corrupt president in the history of our country, but perhaps even more importantly, the president who, together with a band of his closest thugs, misfits, and Marxists, tried to destroy American democracy. But CNN and MSNBC, they call themselves news channels. They didn't air the speech. We're not carrying his remarks live because, frankly, he says a lot of things uh, that are not true and sometimes potentially dangerous. We do not intend to carry these remarks live. Um, as we have said before in these circumstances, there is a cost to us as a news organization to knowingly broadcast untrue things. The former president was arrested by his rival for the first time in American history, and he spoke about it for the very first time. There's nothing more newsworthy than that. But the media doesn't want to cover the news. They want to cover that up. And this isn't about misinformation. Rachel Maddow broadcasts dangerous misinformation for a living. She said Trump colluded. She said COVID vaccines stopped transmission. She said Hunter's laptop was a hoax. This isn't about protecting viewers from misinformation because every politician says stuff that isn't true. You can't censor one and let everybody else speak live, but that's what they're going to do. That's how the media is going to cover Trump this election. They're just not going to cover him. They're going to skew him for you. And this has never been done before in American media history. And this is because the media doesn't trust you, the American viewer, to make up your own mind. You're not smart enough to know what's true and what's not. Rachel and Jake are smarter than you. So they'll censor Trump and then tell you what to think afterwards. Now, other networks like PBS did take Trump's speech, but not without putting a big fat disclaimer running on the bottom of the screen. They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. They want to silence me because I will never let them silence you. They want you silent. And I am the only one that can save this nation because you know they're not coming after me. They're coming after you. And I just happen to be standing in their way and I will never be moving. Let's take another look at that. Look at the bottom of the screen. Ready? Experts warn that inflammatory rhetoric from elected officials or people in power can prompt individual actors to commit acts of violence. Violent rhetoric has escalated in online forums and far right militia groups since Trump's federal indictment. This is a taxpayer funded news station. They're using your money and telling you that the guy that you voted for is a dangerous tyrant. This is already not a free and fair election. The media is now hiding both presidential candidates from you. They're hiding Biden so you can't evaluate him and they're hiding Trump so you can't be persuaded by him. What kind of presidential election are we going to have where the American voter isn't going to be able to see or hear from either candidate? The media has become the most dangerous thing in the United States. Beware of people who swear they're only trying to protect you. Dana Perino is my co-host on the final.